exclusive, back with another fucking banger. So before I even get started, like, comment, subscribe, buy my Herbalife products and buy a t-shirt, link in the description. So I had a loyal subscriber, I'm gonna just call you Z, cause I, Zexume is Boruto. I'm pretty good with names, so I hope I pronounced that right. But um, appreciate you subscribing to me, Pre appreciate you commenting on all my videos, showing love. Um, and you asked me a really, really good question. You asked me three really good questions. How do you overcome bullying? How do you overcome haters? And um, that's basically what I'm going to cover in this video because I feel like bullying and hating is low-key the same thing. Now, if you're getting straight up bullied, um, I would recommend stand up for yourself. Um, but don't do it in a way that's going to make get you in trouble. Obviously, don't go kill a dude. dude. You, you know what I'm trying to say. Be smart about it. Somebody puts their hands on you, you put your hands on them back. Mama ain't raised no punk. Don't let anybody punk you, you feel me? But um, you got to stand for your principles, stand for your morals, stand up for yourself. But anyway, um, to overcome bullying and overcome hating, I'm going to just combine that all into one video. So I never really was bullied. I'm just going to be honest. I never really went through that. But if you are going through that and it is serious, bro, you can talk to me anytime. Hit my Instagram DM, hit my uh, email I'll answer you, bro. I can give you my number if you need a FaceTime call, you need somebody to vent to because I know how that feels. And I'm not saying you're feeling that way, but like sometimes bullying gets really, 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 really bad. So if you're feeling like you want to kill yourself, you're feeling like you want to hurt yourself, all this, that, and the other, and I'm not saying you are. I'm not trying to, don't think I'm trying to spill your problems out to the world, but I'm saying that if you need somebody to vent to, you need somebody to talk to, I know how that feels to want to kill yourself and it's not fun. So if you need somebody, for real, I'm here for you. I won't charge you, bro, for real. Hit my, hit my line if you need anything. But anyway, overcoming bullying, overcoming hate. I had to get that out the way. Let's dive into the topic. Now, when somebody throws shade at you, when somebody hates on you, before I used to get all mad. I used to clap back at him. I used to be in all types of Instagram beefs, uh, all types of Twitter beefs. People would slide up. People would say shit to get me heated. People still, people now more say shit to get me heated nowadays than they did back then. Guys and girls. But that's just what it is when you on the come up. You're going to have people that hate on you. It's lonely at the top. I live all by myself. My phone be dry as fuck. <laughs> if you know, you know. Nah, not really. But um, I don't really answer people on my phone other than when I have to. Um, It's lonely at the top, bro. So you have to embrace the hate and let it make you great. You can't be upset what people think about you and what people say about you. Because what they're saying about them, what they're saying about you is a reflection of them. They can say all the negative, angry, hate, and shit they want. But when they lay their head on the pillow at night, when they look themselves in the mirror, they're not happy with what they see. People hate on you because something that you're doing intimidates them. Something that you're doing, not even intimidates them, makes them feel some type of way. I get people that hate on me almost every single day. Whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on Snapchat, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on FaceTime. I get people that hate on me all the time and I don't even answer, I don't even FaceTime people no more just because everybody will call me, somebody's roommates is throwing shade at me, some, uh, some, some of their boys are trying to clown me, like, I don't even engage in the negativity anymore. And the people that are hating on you, it's just a reflection of them, like I said. And you can't let that shit bother you because if you're always caring, always looking around like a fucking asshole always caring about what other people think of you, always having your head on a fucking swivel, you're never going to get anywhere because you're always worried about what other people are thinking. And when you're worried about what other people are thinking, you're not focused on yourself. And when you're not focused on yourself, you're out of tune with everything. And when you're out of tune with everything, life goes to hell. So what I'm trying to say is you can't have your head on a swivel worrying about what people are thinking about you, looking around like a fucking donkey, like a fucking asshole, looking back behind what everybody's thinking. Head forward, head straight. You know your mission. People hate on me all the time, but I don't give a fuck. I laugh at it. I used to get mad. Now I laugh at it because I know where I'm going. I'm focused. I have a vision. And the definition of faith is having, uh, the definition of faith is seeing a vision where no one else can see that shit other than you. So you're the only one that can see that shit and you have to be okay with that. It's lonely at the top. It's a lonely road and you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with people hating on you. I had dudes ran up on me in the summer because they hated on me. I get dudes every single day. Kids I lent money to, kids I rode with, kids I spent time with, kids I chill with, hating on me. Hitting up girls saying, he's a piece of shit, he's this, he's that, don't talk to him. His herbal life's fake, his diet's is fake, he sucks at football, he's this, he's that. 
I laugh at it, bro, because I look at these kids that are hating on me, and I'm like, yo, you overweight, you got acne, and I'm not shaming them, I'm just saying what it is, they're not happy with themselves, so I'm gonna point it out, they're overweight, they don't get girls, they hate themselves, maybe they failed at sports, who knows, but what I'm doing, what you're doing, what I'm doing makes people mad, and you have to be okay with that. You can't sit there and always worry about what other people think about you because then you will never ever be focused on yourself. And if you're living, trying to live to please other people, you are never going to be happy with yourself because you're never doing what you truly want to do and say, saying how you truly feel. That's why a lot of people hate on me so much because I say how I truly feel. I be chilling in a room with people, right? And some people will say that I have the attitude that I'm better than everybody else. No, it's not that. I just don't like certain energies around me. So if I'm around a bunch of people I don't fuck with, I'll just sit there like this, chew, chew on my fucking thing on my hoodie and just chill there. Unentertained, nonchalant. It is what it is, because I don't fuck with them. People hate on me because I wear Playboy. People hate on me because I got long hair. People hate on me because I had blonde in my hair. Uh, you think that bothers me? Somebody hates on me and honestly, if somebody's saying some negative shit and usually I laugh at it at first, but if they keep going, keep poking, I'll check them on and flip the script on them and make them feel like the asshole and make them feel stupid. That's what you got to do. You got to be s slick with your comebacks, but always hold frame. Somebody's hating on you. Somebody's bullying you. You have to be slick with your comebacks and hold frame. Hold frame means you laugh at it and you deflect it back at them, make them feel stupid. But if they keep poking at you, check them on it. Honestly, like it gets to the point with me where people will say shit, say shit, say, say shit. At first, I'll be cool with it. I'll laugh it off. Ha ha ha. Whatever. I'm not, you know what I'm trying to say? Not trying to be an asshole. Don't be a dick about it. But check them on it. You feel what I'm saying? Like somebody says some shit to me. I'm trying to think. Oh, I don't like your shirt. I'll be like, oh, damn, I wore this shit just for you. And then the, if they keep poking at, oh, I fucking hate your shirt. That's just ugly as fuck. I'll be like, yo, look at your shirt, like, look at your shoes, like, look at your shirt, look at what the fuck you're wearing, look what the fuck you're doing. You know I'm trying to say? Check them on it, but hold frame when you're doing it. Don't flip out, ooh, crying and shit, getting all mad. Somebody's saying shit to you, somebody's trying to troll you, you just troll them back and make them feel stupid. You feel what I'm saying? But now if somebody's bullying you, I don't really know what you said about bullying, but, like, if somebody's putting their hands on you, like I said, mom ain't raised no punk. You have to be able to stand up for yourself and stand up for your morals. Because if you can't stand up for yourself, you can't stand up for anybody else. And I'm just being honest, bro. And I'm trying to help you. So don't get upset at what I'm saying. Is that if somebody does put their hands on you and they are bullying you in that way, like they run up on you type shit, always be ready to defend yourself. Like, if somebody runs up on me or somebody says something that I don't like in public and, like, they're talking to me about it and, like, we do end up getting physical in the confrontation about it, I'm willing to die to protect, like, like you know what I'm trying to say? I'm willing to die to protect my, myself and my pride. That's just how I am, you feel me? Like, it is what it is, bro. <laughs> like, I was out at um in Ithaca. I'm up in uh, Cortland right now in New York. So I was down in Ithaca in the city, right? And this dude was, like, talking crazy. And he's walking away. From, like, he's looking at me saying this crazy shit. And then he he's walking away. And when he's walking away, he's saying more crazy shit. So I, so I turned to him. I said, yo, I was with this girl, too. And I turn to him and I'm like, yo, if you got something to say, turn around and say it straight to my face. And he flips me off like this and keeps walking. But I was ready. Like, I was dead ready to stand up and, like, say something about it. I'm not being a dick about it. But I'm like, yo, if you got something to say. The dude was, like, 62. Like, he was, like, a diesel-ass fucking old man. Aki as fuck. So I'm like, yo, if you got something to say, bro, say it to my face and speak to me man to man. Don't be walking away saying some shit to me. Because I'm just ready to stand up for myself and stand up for my pride. So what I'm trying to say to you, bro, is that you can't let what people say throw you off, knock you off your center, knock you off your mission, because people are always going to hate. You think that um, Cam Newton doesn't have haters? You think that LeBron doesn't have haters saying he's not the greatest? You think that they're worried scrolling through Instagram, walk, walk, walking around looking like a fucking donkey, looking around like a fucking asshole, worried about what people are saying? Nah, because they're on their mission and they're focused. So you can't let what people say about you knock you off center because the people that are talking about you they want something that you have like all the kids that hate on me i can throw all these kids in three different categories right now one i'm bigger than them two i'm better than them at sports and three i get more girls than them that's the three biggest categories that people hate on me for and i'm just being honest oh he's an asshole oh he's this oh he's that i get more girls than you oh my god he sucks at football all this and that i play college you don't you sitting at home in a frat eating chips 
Oh my God, he's on steroids. Oh my God, he's this, he's that. I just work out every day and eat right. And I, I make YouTube. Oh, he's an idiot. Oh, he's this, he's that. I just speak my mind. And I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't give a fuck how you feel. And I don't give a fuck who I offend. So you can't let what people say about you knock you off your center because people are going to hate and it's, it's lonely at the top. I'm starting to repeat myself, so I'm going to wrap this shit up and I really hope that shit helps you, bro. Embrace the hate and let it motivate you, bro. Let all the shit that people say about you motivate you. Every time I'm on a bench press, every time I'm squatting 500 pounds and I have to bang out that last rep, I'm thinking, what did they say about me that fuels me? What did they say about me that I can use as fuel rather than worry about it, cry about it, and get upset about it? Turn that shit into fuel, bro. Master your emotions. That's all I got for y'all today. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You need anything, get me right. Hit my Instagram, hit my DM. Hit my email. Peace out, y'all.